Welcome to this month's edition of Tea Tasters. My name is Mark and this month we're going to have a look at something which is a real delicacy in the tea drinking world, or at least for some. What we've got here this month on Tea Tasters are Setemwa antlers. Now these look very, very uh, different to a lot of the tea that we normally try on Tea Tasters. Of course, Tea Tasters, we're looking at teas from around the world and we're usually looking at whole leaf orthodox tea. So that's a, almost a full leaf or even part of a leaf when we're looking at some broken leaf grades. And of course, something that we don't really touch on or haven't touched on a lot in the past is CTC. So the format or category of tea that we use in our tea bags. So a Satemwa antler, uh, I'll go to in a bit more detail when we look at the tea a bit closer. But uh, Malawi is a very, very interesting uh, tea producing region. In fact, uh, 43,000 tons or more than 43,000 tons of tea are produced from uh, Malawi uh, each year. In fact, this particular tea garden where these Satamwa antlers come from, the Satamwa uh, plantation, was developed uh, by a gentleman called McLean Kay in 1923. And this tea garden started commercially producing tea several years later. So our little antlers, let's have a look in a bit more detail at these uh, unusual looking antlers and uh, see what they taste like. The magical thing about these antlers, the Satama antlers, is they're actually the magic that holds the leaf to the rest of the plant. They are very young pubescent uh, stalks or stems that develop an opening bud that will eventually become a leaf and they are an absolute delicacy. In fact very very few kilos of this is actually produced from this particular part of the world and uh, it's a very, very unique tea. It's not something you see very much of. So the interesting thing about these antlers is that the tea or the stems have been allowed simply to be dried. So they're just dehydrated and that puts it in the white tea classification. So they've not gone through any oxidization or fermentation as that we normally associate with a black tea. So hopefully producing quite a delicate cup with a, a quite a soft floral character. So we'll get some of this made up and uh, have a taste and see if it really is the delicacy it claims to be. So let's make up some of our Sitamwa antlers and uh, see what they taste like. So being a white tea or falling into the category of white tea, what I've done is I've boiled the kettle and I've just allowed it to cool for about four to five minutes. And uh, that'll be just the right water temperature I think to be able to use with these. Uh, we've got a pot here. Um, as you know, always a big fan of the nice clear pot. You see the brewing process happening and you can marvel the colour uh, that you see coming from the tea. And in fact, colour is quite an important thing when we look at Malawi and tea or tea from Malawi. Well known for producing uh, colourful, bright teas that uh, look attractive in a cup. And then we're going to taste from our, from our bowl as we would do and uh, look for some of those delicate flavours that I'm hoping to find in our antlers. So it's about three grams per serving. And uh, of course, this is a two cup pot. So I'll be using uh, three multiples of three grams. I'll be using nine grams. And I'm just gonna give you an idea, because it's difficult to get this onto a spoon, that uh, three grams is about a good pinch. So I'm gonna put this in here that we can use to taste. I think it's great using your fingers to portion up tea, um, but if it's really not for you, it's not your thing, and of course you can use a good uh, soup spoon or a level soup spoon to be indicative of about a pinch. Uh, in my teapot here, I'm gonna put about nine grams, so three really good uh, pinches of tea. And then of course, I'm just going to pour my water into each of those. So about three to three and a half minutes is ideal for that uh, to work. Now, I think there is a few other teas in the world that people might recognize when we're talking about these antlers. And they come from Japan. We have a, a, a cookie char which is a type of tea or stem uh, from the leaf that's left over after making a sencha tea. So that's a kukicha. And then of course we have a um, 
another type of tea called Karigana, which is leftover stems uh, from the Gayakoro process. So, you know, the use of stems isn't unique to Central Africa. It's just uh, they do a really different take on it and it's, uh, it, it makes a really, really nice cup. Okay, so our three and a half minutes have passed. You can leave this tea a little bit longer if you like a deeper uh, flavour. And of course, <clears throat> with the central diffusion chamber in this pot, I always like just to give it a gentle agitation just before I serve. So I've got a nice clear glass here and I'm gonna stop the brewing by pressing this lever down into the chamber. And hey presto, an absolutely beautifully colored cup of tea. I mean, that is just absolutely glorious. It's almost like a, a ray of morning sunshine. It's an absolutely gorgeous color and uh, the aroma is, uh, is quite powerful as well. We have a beautiful, soft, gentle aroma. But let's have a look here at the... Um, at the colour. I mean, it's just unmistakably Malawi when you look at the colour uh, in, in the cup. And the, like I was saying, gorgeous floral aroma. It's got nice clarity through the, through the liquid. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful... Uh, tea and I'm really excited to, to kind of try some. So here we go. Ooh. Now that is something very very different. It's a it's got a kind of a velvety texture to it, and it's almost like a combo between a grape and a pear. Is some of the flavour sensation that I'm getting. It's a aromatic grapey and pear, it's got a kind of citrus theme running through it. It really is something very, very different. And I'm sure it's gonna be something that you really, really enjoy on uh, Tea Tasters this month. Uh, take time to savour and uh, enjoy the Satomwa antlers. And until next time, happy tea times. Cheers.